will be a muscle support program for your lower body. This one can take hopefully about 10 minutes. So we're not going to do a lot of exercise. What I want you to focus on is alignment, strength, and control. So this is not about speed. It's about controlling all of your movements. So the equipment we need today is basically just going to be something to lie on. And some kind of low step. So if you've got a stair nearby you, but you need to pause during the video to move there, that's great. Just something low that um, you can stand on safely. You might want to put it somewhere near a wall. I wouldn't recommend a high chair for this. You really just want a small step of some kind. Uh, other than that, that's all you need. So we're only really going to focus on warming up the lower body. If you want to skip straight to the exercises, hopefully I've to put the time up here. Otherwise, let's just warm up the lower body. So I'm just going to start with some hip circles. So make them big and slow so that when they come forward, you've got a nice open position. So you might want your legs a bit wider. You might want to take it further back and bring the body forward. You've got a nice stretch of the hamstrings there. But if you want to keep them small, that's fine too. Just go for whatever is comfortable. And then the other one. So again, if you might want to support for this, we're just going to do some hip circles. Don't know if you can hear me, but I can definitely hear it popping. All I'm trying to do is make a nice big circle around through here, so we're really opening up that joint. So this other leg should be getting a bit warmer too, just from supporting. Do the other side, so bring it around behind. We're not trying to use the knee to do this, we're trying to use the joint here. So really start beginning to focus on um, the parts of the body that we want to use for these exercises. Coming the other way. Close in, just going to do some gentle forward bend. So when you're doing this, I really want you to focus on keeping the knees in line with the toes, but not coming past the toes. If they are you're coming too deep, you just want to stay in line with the toes. So I told you the circle this before. Feet under knees and their hips. This is the kind of thing we're looking for this entire program. So everything in alignment, so they're not coming in as you drop down, they're not going out. So in line with the toes. Just warm them up. And this is basically what muscle support programs are about, is making sure that we're aligning things correctly so the muscles surrounding the joints in particular are strengthening up to support them properly. So hopefully later on you won't have issues or injuries. Alright, just gonna do a little foot press into the floor. Again, making sure the knees coming in line with the toe. So press in and down, side, make sure we go down, and up side, and turn the foot the other way, so you're getting the front of the foot pressed through, and the other side. First thing I'm going to start with is a squat to what I call a peeing dog position. It is basically just a hip abductor movement with a bent leg. So what's going to happen, we start with our heels underneath our knees, underneath our hips, or just slightly wider if that's more comfortable. We want our feet facing forward, so our knees are going to go forward. And what we're going to do, this is my left leg here, we're going to squat down here, keeping our chest and our body pretty much from the position they were. When we come up, we squeeze the muscles here. And then move on to this supporting leg and raise this one out to the side. So it's going out to the side, um, not out to the front. So it's literally, as I said, a bit like a dog pee on a post. So we're just going to start on the one side. So we'll do six on this side. So bring down, squeeze, raise, in. Down, squeeze, raise, in. Three, squeeze raise in, four, again keep an eye on your alignment of your knees, your toes, 
Last one this side. Okay, gonna switch to the other side, so right leg is now supporting. Again, check your alignment. Knees, hips, toes. Yes, knees, hips, toes, ankles. Feet facing forward and down, so keep them straight and extend. Down, squeeze, abduct. Down, squeeze, out. Down, squeeze, out. Down, squeeze, out. Okay, so you can do more of those if you like. I'm going to skip on to the next ex ex exercise, not episode, um, which is a drop heel calf raise. Now, if that's going to be too much for you, you can just do a calf raise, you can use a support, and all that will be is feet in together, knees nice and tight, squeezing in through the legs, through the belly, and then you're just coming up onto the balls of the feet, and a controlled roll down. Do it back on the side. So this is the basic calf raise. We're really working with the lower legs a bit harder here. And again, we're just focusing on that alignment. So squeezing everything together so nothing's coming loose. And you want weight to between, be between the big toe and the second toe. If you want a bit more of a challenge, and you probably will want support for this, you're going to step and turn onto your step. Have the, uh, basically the balls of your feet off the, on the step. The rest of your foot is off the back of it. This is why you don't want to be high. Do not do it at the top of the stairs. So make sure you're supported. We go up, normal calf raise, come down, and then we drop the heel down lower. So getting stretched the hamstring. Pull up through the legs, the calves, up and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. So breathe out on the up, breathing on the down. Focusing on squeezing your legs, your glutes, work on those lower leg muscles. So don't do these fast, do them with control. Three more. Should really be feeling it. Next one we're going to head onto the floor, we're going to go do a glute bridge with a raised hip. So you're going to get a bit more of your work on your knees, and again we're looking at the right. So you're sitting down, you want your legs, your hips, your feet in alignment with those as well. As you lie down, keep the knees bent. So a normal glute bridge, and you can do this if you like, is just um, squeezing in through the belly and squeezing up through the glutes to raise up to a nice straight alignment here. So it helps if you think about rolling from the bottom or the vertebrae at the base of your spine up to the vertebrae at the center of your spine. So one vertebrae at a time, up. So really squeeze in here, squeeze the butt and roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Raise to your version, bring the feet in slightly. Literally come up into the walls of your feet and we do the same thing. So breathe in, as you breathe out we go up. And down. And up. And down. And up. So always control all the way up. Focus on making sure your knees aren't turning out. They're staying in alignment with your toes. Next set of exercises is the clam. Now sitting outside, forward, into the leg. Nicely down, like one of the French ladies being painted. So knees bent, kind of 90 degrees. Lean forward onto your front hand so that your uh, weight is coming forward. Keep your toes together and we're basically just opening up in what's called the clam position. So we're using the muscles at the top and outside of your legs, outside the hip. So these are your abductors. So they're stealing your leg away from your center. 
If you're feeling a bit adventurous or want something a bit harder, raise the toes up to about your buttocks height and continue the exercise. So really make sure that you're not just trying to push out the movement, you're really using this outside muscle. So if you're not feeling it by now, you're probably better off doing the lower clamps and making sure the rest of your leg is relaxed as you push out and up with this thing. And stop. So we're going to switch to the other side. Same position. We pull the knees together, bent. I said you can start with just the lower one. Make sure the lower legs are relaxed, so your feet are relaxed. And again, if you want a bit more of a challenge, raise up the toes. And always keep checking to make sure your body is, uh, or your body weight is full. We're using our ab, our ab adductors, which is the inside muscles. So lying on the floor, bring the leg that's on top over in front, so it's nice and stable. We're going to keep that other foot very relaxed. And what we think about is lifting up the foot from the thigh. So you need to place your hand on the inside of your thigh and press up against that. So try and keep the rest of your foot and leg very relaxed. You're not going to feel a huge amount of this. <coughs> Keep going. Just get some more. Should be starting to get a little bit um, more of a feeling in here. So really push up against the skin. Then keep it held up and really just pulse it in that position. And that's where you're going to start feeling. Now. And relax. Change it over. So, bottom leg stays where it is, top leg comes over the top. And again, using this muscle here, again, you can use your hand to press up against it. You can wait forward. So a lot of bodies have had a good little workout, but give it a bit of a stretch. Start with a butterfly, so feet together, knees out. Doesn't matter how far in front of you your feet are, as long as they're joined. And just think about pushing the knees towards the floor. That's going to open up your hip flexors, which have had a little bit of work today. Okay, bring one leg out, keep that leg like this. So what we're going to do toe up, push the heel out, so you're getting that nice hamstring stretch, and keeping your body upright so don't let it fold over, just reach out to the side towards that leg. So it doesn't matter how far you get down, as long as you're feeling that increased stretch. through the body, so from the knees up to the shoulders, you want you to squeeze that all in and just gently, as far as you can, lean back to try and keep that body straight. So it's going to be stretching the front of your legs and your shins. And 
up when you need a break, and come down and hold again. Just going to do a pure fullness. <clears throat> so sitting on your backside, and try to bring your knees in close to you. Bring one foot over the top so that its ankle is on the other knee, and then use your hands to push your body closer to your neck. So try and keep your shoulders down, your back is straight. You should get a nice stretch off the leg. And change over. Again. If you want more stretch, just think about pushing the knee down towards the floor. That is the raised knee. It's going to give you a lovely stretch off the leg. You enjoyed it. I said with all of these ones, the key thing really is to watch your alignment and your movements. So you always want your joints stacked. So whether it's the hip over the knee over the toe, or the uh, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, whatever it is, um, you want to keep them stacked. That's where they're strongest. When you turn one of those joints out, it starts to weaken the entire structure. Um, and depending on the sport or the, the form you're doing, it can become problematic, especially on the knees for uh, certain martial arts forms in particular. Anyway, good on you with sticking for it and sticking with it, and I'll see you next time.